Hey, good morning, campers. Hey, today I'm going to try something new. I'm going to throw on uh, some... It says here the, the newest Wu-Tang. And I, I haven't listened to Wu-Tang since uh, Liquid Sword, really. So we're going to kind of like do like a short review of Wu-Tang Clan New Wu Mixtape. 2020 made the app. We got a little bit of a commercial to go through. I'm going to do that and do a little bit of multitasking. You know, I'm going to uh, do some drawing. I always like their samples. I don't know if you guys you can hear that. I cannot see. Of all things, to live in darkness must be the worst. Fear is the only darkness. Take your broom and strike me with it. Do as I tell you. Strike! <laughs> Again. Never assume that because a man has no eyes, he cannot see. Close your eyes. What do you hear? I hear the water. I hear the birds. Do you hear your own heartbeat? No. Do you hear the grasshopper, which is at your feet? Old man, how is it that you hear these things? Young man, how is it that you do not? Yeah. All right, just to pause it there. I was a huge fan of the Kung Fu stuff as I was a kid, man. You know, like, Kwai Chain. That's such a good sample, man. I like That seriously made the the hair stand on the top of my head and and honestly that line you know can you hear the grasshopper down at your feet that that was something we used to repeat like to each other you know because that was such a striking thing that uh even from the tv show now i was watching uh <clears throat> a documentary actually on the kung fu series and Really, it's not a kung fu movie or show. It's really a western, and they really were trying to like break stereotypes of racism. Actually, that was kind of the focal point of the show. Which now I look back at it, dude, like yeah, you know, it it completely was like you know some like dumb redneck going, yeah, hey, look at the Asian guy. All the yellow guys have to get out of the bar. You know, but, uh, you know, and of course, you know, Quine Chain would end up, like, kicking a bunch of, like, drunk white dudes, but with their guns in their hands and <clears throat> clear the bar. Maybe help uh, another person out. But uh, that was kind of something amazing. All right, man, let's listen to the music a bit here. See what it, uh, what the new Wu-Tang sounds like. Already know how me and my sons do. We got 
So far, I'm checking it out. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but uh, when I hear this new Wu Tang, it's this new rhythm and stuff like that's really good. I really don't see it that much more impressive than like I'd hear expect to hear from like Eminem. Actually, I mean, uh, I'm not even like a, what you would say is a huge hip hop fan. So I mean, criticize what I say, but I mean, so far it. it uh, it's it it doesn't sound as uh, uh, intelligent, I guess, as I've heard from past Wu Tang stuff. The rhythm sounds good. It's nice and heavy, you know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward in this album a bit and uh, see what comes up randomly. Uh, you know, I can't uh, play, I guess, a whole song or something like that because of copyright or something. And the the track I chose is actually an hour or something long. It's like the whole mixtape. And uh, I just want to skip through, maybe go through, uh, hit a few parts of it and see if it sticks out. Okay, we're at uh, 20 minutes in the album. 2024. <clears throat> Playing. Playing. Uh, looks like I caught it at the end of a song. Snakes. I had the flat top fade, smoke had the most ways, cuz pops died in the tub, that was the dope phase, that cocaine had a stake and we could be all paid, we all seen done things, I won't say no names, to whom it may concern, remain anonymous, the first dollar I earned was some designer shit, I was way too young to even know better, made mad friends with my friend, lonely as low sweater, Thanks, son. Yeah, my right hand man had name brand kicks. My shit's Tom McCann. Blow a kiss from my heart to Jeanette and Barbara Ann to advance. Feed fam and get rich the father's plan. Remember T Ski from Lexington with the three piece suits. Before any Timberland, I wore army boots. Huh. My brother David was a drill sergeant. So those fatigues was part of my life for real private. I had a cousin named Fitzgerald from Tennessee. His father, my uncle Edward, influenced me. 
You know my daddy was a drummer, but his daddy was a runner. He was putting up his numbers. Peace to Big Mayo, R.I.P. Mateo. Love my nigga Mayno, I.G. and Ado. Huh. Salute my Hall of Connect. My nigga Billy Mark style respect. And hey, yo, police might try and corner you. Don't take 7 fast, take 8th Avenue. I'm glad to see all that I did. I say that to say you gotta love the life you live. That's Nana and her son Bo and Uncle Ari. Any drug fountain. Alright, from my hear this so far, this is like uh, 20, 23, 24 minutes into this and uh i i must say it so far it's sounded kind of cool actually i kind of like it's kind of a relaxing beat and kind of like a kind of a classic flow to it, it sounds like it came from like a an, a mix from maybe an old song from the 50s or something like that probably something they still wrote themselves which is really cool And uh, from what I was gathering from the lyrics, it was talking about uh, just the kind of like the rough life of maybe like transporting drugs to make a living or just hardcore street life. It sounds cool. So far, I'm only like a little bit into this album, and and I tell you, I think I'd rock it. Even though I was not happy with uh, so far the first song they had on the thing, but I really love that sample. I mean, a lot of times I get attracted to, to al albums just simply just from the samples they put on there, you know, because it's something I can relate to, and it just seems like, hey, you know, this is, this is fucking badass, you know? Now, this drawing stuff, I just do it in the morning, you know, just uh, kind of... It's like uh, my warm up of the day before I go paint. I do pretty much art every single day. And sometimes it gets kind of, you know, do I have to? And yeah, I do, man. That's kind of how I live. And I think I'm going to start doing more music reviews because I kind of am a music snob. You know, like Simon Cowell, but my name is Raymond Cow. But I listen to better music, I think. Simon Cowell doesn't really have anything that has anything to do with the same taste I like. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, scan forward. Like I said, this album's an hour long. We're only listening to small bits of it. So right now it's at 43 minutes into the album. My gun game can't fuck with nigga. Wait, both shins, but you on crutches, nigga. Popo at the door, you better flush it, nigga. He sold 19, only your bird left. These kicks don't found it, that's his third F. That nigga down 19 joints. These kicks don't found it, that's his third F. These kickers don't found it, hold up, look. Since 15, Penitex shooter. Through the stretch, came home, big as Lex Luger. Real lobster with the conk fritters. This elder bitch who can fuck with us. I'm from the city, niggas to smoke for a half a key. Versace specs, silk shirt on, bitch, I'm Master B. Master Kush, I done smoked about a half a B. About to lock the game up and bury the Master Key. Had the foreign park at my crime spot. Stick on the back seat, if the drum box. $40 ace, lying around block. I know I ain't shit, I even sold my mom rocks. Three the gangsters in Clinton, Max and Comstock. Add a cut in Wyoming, all the little guys know me. You might go see my jeweler by the fire roadies. Just to remind myself, it's my time, homie time, homie. Bodies on the blicky, hit his body with his 50. Shot, shot it till it's flippy. Catch a body, then I'm probably in the Mazi doing 60. In the land of smoking sour, ain't nobody fucking with me. I 
I'm a legend in the flesh. Respect me like your father. Fuck the pussy niggas, I will hit them with the carving. Put you on the front of a t shirt. We murk whoever, nigga. Well, niggas better be careful, man. Them little niggas out there, man, playing, man. Playing them big drawers, nigga. Be careful, man, for real, man. All right, I get like the vibe in this thing is just cool to hang out, you know, you bump loud, and break out your blunt, I guess, and watch the sunset and listen to a little bit of Wu-Tang in the hood. Doesn't sound like a bad album. I think I'm going to actually check out the whole album, maybe even add it to my paint mix in my studio. I like to listen to stuff while I paint. That's why also I, I like to listen to stuff I draw to. And, uh, I think I'm going to give this thing a, I heard just this little bit, uh, I think I'm going to give it a thumbs up and give it a try. Uh, this is where I'm at on this picture so far. I hope you guys have a good day.